Shalom, shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Harachah, Kadash. Double understood the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who teach them real well. All right. Love and salutations to the Akims and the Akwa. who continuing in the faith who are the first fruits of the kingdom. Okay. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the son of the most high. The deliverer. Okay. With Yahweh means he is he to be. Yahweh. Yahweh Shai meaning he, he says he delivers. Okay. Right, uh, you know, you when you when you come into this truth, you know, you have to understand what it means to be born again. Okay, you know, and a lot of brothers, you know, before you came into this truth, you know, we were involved in other doctrines and uh, other religions. You know, uh, uh, which at first we was in the congregation of the dead, man. We didn't know what this truth was, but what had what what had to happen? You had to be born again. I mean, what you put off the doctrines and the teachings of the world, right? You coming into this truth. separates you from the world okay this is why the world so destroyed because they don't have the right doctrine okay that free will spirit you know which I'm gonna go into a little bit that free will spirit had destroyed the minds of the people in this world you Israelites and the majority of you Americans man you're destroyed with that free will spirit, man. And that teachings go back to Alistair Crawley. That free will spirit, man. Do as thou will. Okay? When you adopt this truth, the Lord call you out of the world and bring you into the truth. That free will spirit is out the window, man. Okay? You have to be born again in order to enter into the kingdom or the most high. And Nicodemus, you know, I'm going to get into that. Let me get that. John, I believe it's three. Yeah. All right. Now the title of it is say new birth, the new birth. That's the title of it. John chapter three, right? The title of it, the subheading is, is a, a new birth. Okay. Okay. Now what this is talking about, it ain't talking about you 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 being actual born through your mother's womb again. Through your mother's womb, okay? That's what Yahweh Shah relayed to Nicodemus. Nicodemus didn't understand. And a lot of times when the Lord said parables, right? Uh the people didn't get it. The Lord had to break it down. Tell them. You know? I'm going to start at uh, verse 1, John 3 and 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shah by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High. For no man can do these miracles that thou do doest except the Most High be with him. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Okay, so he didn't understand what he meant because a lot of times I will, you know, Lord, you know, your Lord, Yahweh Shah, spoke in a parable or an allegory and they didn't get it man okay 
But the elect will understand. The elect is of a quick understanding. You know, because the Lord said the mysteries are for you. You know, but it's not given unto them. It's, 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 it's unto you shall the mission be given, but unto them it is not given. So that's why the people of this world are destroyed. They have no hope. Okay? And it's going to furthermore read, I'm going to say, I'm going to read uh, verse 4. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time? into the womb in the into his mother's womb and be born now you know no one ever seen a man be literally born the second time okay so he didn't understand that you know that 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 parable or that allegory yeah how was I answered verse 5 verily verily I say unto you Very verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Okay? You have to be born of water and of spirit. And that goes into the water, the spirit, is the word of the Most High, man. The word, the doctrine. Okay, you got to be watched with this truth, with the doctrine of your house child. You know, that's what it means. You're born again. You receive the spirit when you come out of that worldly knowledge, the worldly doctrines. And you put on this truth. That's you being born again. Put away the old man, you know. You know, being not conformed to this world, right? Why? Because the wisdom of this world is foolish. So like it for this noise, let me pause real quick. You know, you know, understanding that you have to put off this, this worldly doctrine, this worldly knowledge, man, you know? and put on this truth is the understanding of being born again, man. Because the, the doctrines of this world destroy you, man. That's why the majority of Yasharala, Israel, is destroyed because of the doctrines of this world. Right? The doctrines of this world defile of you. Okay? Let me go to Isaiah 8. Isaiah 8 and 20 speak to the law and the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Okay? We, the men of the Lord, right? The elect are the ones who are going to have light. Light is on for the righteous. Okay? Because you was with him from the beginning, the elect. Light is sown for the righteous. The understanding of this truth. Right? Is the light. Okay? The truth set, set you free, right? Okay? You're going to understand this truth. You're not going to be defiled by women. Which women represent the other doctrines of the world. Okay, you ain't gonna put on the doctrines of the world, right? You're gonna you're gonna be likened unto a virgin in the eyes of Yahweh Shemiah because of this truth. The understanding of this truth keeps you sacred, keeps you holy, keeps you set apart. You know, if you don't have this gospel, this if you don't have this doctrine. You don't have this, you know, you don't speak according to this word. It's because the Most High didn't give it to you. And again, this is why Israel is so destroyed. Because they clinged on, and it's all, it's all the Lord's doing, man. The deceiver and the deceiver is here. Okay? 
this this gospel can't enter into the, a, a malicious soul, man, a wicked soul. That's why they reject it. Okay. Let me get uh, a precept real quick. Second Corinthians four and three. If, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay. Romans eleven and seven. What then Israel had? What then Israel have not obtained? that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Seeketh for what? The kingdom of heaven, this truth. Okay, the, the, the fact that that's the beginning phase of the kingdom of heaven is that we'll wake up and understand the truth what the truth is, the Lord waking you up out of darkness, you know, waking you up out of that spell, because that's what the majority of these people are under, a spell, but the Lord brought you forth into the light out of darkness, the understanding, you know, of what certain things is, man, like that free will spirit, you know, these people really believe they have free will, which that was the doctrine taught by Alistair Crawley, man. And majority of the people are into that, you know, free will doctrine, man. Free will, free will spirit, man. Okay? Now, if you've been born again with the, and you've been washed with the word, you know, you've been baptized in this truth, you know that there is no such thing as free will. There ain't no free will. You can't do what you want to do. And that very quote, do as thou will, you got free will, that's proof that they're still in darkness. Because if you understand this truth, you'll know that there's boundaries according to the law. The law was given to the nation of Israel to set what? Boundaries, okay? So we don't become like other, other nations. This is why the nation of Israel, the ones who ain't got the truth, that are part of our nation, they're likened unto heathens. They're likened unto being uncircumcised. You know, they don't know the law. And they doing, they eating what the hell they want to eat. They committing all kind of adultery with no, you know, with no conscience of knowing this truth. Okay, uncircumcised. Meaning what? You know, you, you you uncircumcised, not knowing the law, not knowing that there's boundaries being set. Hell, not you know, just knowing that who we are, Yashala. We're a set apart nation. You're walking in darkness if you believe every nation is is the same, equal. You know, that's a heathenistic mindset, man. Yasharala is separate. From the other nation. You were meant to walk in these laws and statutes and commandments, okay? And stay in them and teach them to your children, okay? That free will spirit, man. When they don't understand everything, they did, everything was predestined. The Lord is controlling everything. You know? You didn't have a choice whether you wanted to come to earth or not. That's the will of Yahweh by Shem Havashah. You can't stop yourself from being born. You know? A woman can't stop herself from being pregnant. You know? Israel couldn't stop the curses. Esau can't stop his destruction from coming. The fact that the, the very fact that the Prophets are on the highways and the byways. That's not of their own will. Even being born again, that was not of your own will. You can't wake up and say, 
hey man, I want to be born. I want this truth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna follow God today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. No, it was set up from the beginning. You know, and there's scriptures on that, man. There's scriptures on that. You know, that free will spirit destroyed the majority of the people. This a rock, 33 and verse 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liking him best. You see that? The Lord fashioned you and made you for his purpose. Okay? You didn't you can't stop that. Whatever the Lord got you doing on the planet right now is what he wants you to be doing. Whatever you believe in as far as this uh as far as doctrinal purposes, that's what the Lord got you. He gave you all you ain't just making the decision. You got a lot of people that, oh I I got free will. I get to decide what I want. No, even that train of thought the Lord gave you over to vow affection. The Lord gave you over to a reprobate mind. Okay? And that's a way above you niggas' head, man. The mindset you got is of your how about shimmy how shot. To destroy you, man. That's why you didn't you can't understand the doctrine that we're teaching. Okay? That's why you can't understand the doctrine that we teach. You don't, that's too over your wisdom is too high for a fool. Wisdom is too high for them. They can't understand the things that we teach. Reincarnation, you know, things like that, man. They can't understand that because the Lord is not dealing with them. So he gave them over to that reprobate mind for them to think that they got free will just so he can destroy you, man. You know? Think about Pharaoh, man. Pharaoh was stiff. He was proud. He was stiff-hearted, man. The Lord hardened his heart. He didn't, he wasn't stiff hearted because he just, the Lord hardened his heart, man. To do what? Show his power. That's, that ain't free will. You know? That ain't free will. He couldn't decide. You know, if it was up to Pharaoh, he'll have us in the captivity to this day. But guess what? The Lord, you know, delivered us out of the hands of Pharaoh. And he gave him warning. But the Lord already knew that he was going to harden his heart because he was the one that doing it. To show Israel, to show his might. To show the other nations around them, you know, so they can hear about the, the Lord and his name. Because when we, when we went out of Egypt, all the other nations, they heard, they heard about that, man. That was the Lord's purpose. And the Lord is going to do that again on a way higher level. To so his name will be magnified, man. And the other, hey, the, they, they, the, the other people, they gonna hear about it, man. The other nations gonna hear about it again. You know, this Romans 9 and 17, for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this time, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up that I might shew my power in thee. You see that? That was the purpose. So the Lord would show his power. and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. You know? Exodus. That, that was Exodus 19. Pharaoh didn't have no choice in that matter. You know? Pharaoh didn't have no choice, you know? He even chased the children of Israel to the sea that he can put us back in there. But guess who Guess who caused him to run to the sea? He got all those chariots and chased behind it, you know, chased behind the children of Israel. The Lord put that on his heart so he, the Lord can, you know, show that great miracle so his name will be magnified. Okay. 
He, the Lord brought war upon Pharaoh. The same thing he going to do with Esau, Edom. Okay? The same thing he going to do with Esau, Edom, man. All things obey the heavenly Father's will, man. You know? All things obey the heavenly Father's will. There is no such thing as free will, man. The Lord made every man to serve his purpose because the Lord controlled everybody telepathically, man. It was the Lord that put, you know, that was consulting in the spirit world with the angels that put a lying spirit on a hog, man. You know? Just to what? Destroy him, man. Everything obeys the Lord's will, man, whether it's righteousness or whether it's evil, man. These kings currently in the earth are going to be taken out of the way, man. You saw Edom, the current kingdom. You got, you know, the Edomites up there in Russia. You got the Edomites who are ruling over here in the West. You see? The, 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 the so-called white man, the Europeans, which they go back to Edom. They're the nation of Edom. The Lord has put that proud spirit on him, man. I'm gonna close out with one more scripture, man. To, to harden his heart, right? He gave him a military. He's strengthening Esau with a military, man. Just so at the end that he'll come and blast him, man. Yeah, how was I gonna come blast him away, man? And the remaining of them shall go into captivity. And through the elites, they're going to birth the rest of the Edomites that die on this side. Okay? That's the Lord. I'm going to prove it. That's the Lord's will. And I'm going to close out, man. I ain't going to be long-winded. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And it's for lucky for the noise, man. You know, just trying to do the video to the best of my ability you know when you start to teach all that noise you know what i'm saying i ain't seen a car all day but all of a sudden you know the cars want to come up and down the road but guess what we do this for edification man so we got to suffer through this all right revelations chapter 17 and 16 and the ten horn which thou saw it which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Who is that whore? The whore is America, man. That's a mystery. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Okay? America allies. That's, you know, they're going to take part of the destruction of America. They're going to shoot missiles on this place. This is the point, man. Verse 17. Well, the Most High have put in their hearts. Who did? The Most High did. The Most High have put in their hearts. Your heart goes back to your mind, your law. To fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the word of the Most High shall be fulfilled. You see that? The Lord have put in their minds to do what? To make war against each other, to fulfill his will. Right? And that woman, verse 18, and the woman which thou saw is that great city. That's America, man. Everybody want to come here, man. Everybody got people jump, still jumping the border. You know? At one point in time, everybody looked at this place in admiration. Okay, the signs are there to let you know that this is the great heart. This is that kingdom spoken about in Revelation 17. The woman which thou saw is the great city which reigneth over the earth. Man, these scriptures are coded. Okay? This kingdom going to fall because the Lord said it, man. That's the heavenly father will for America, Bab America Babylon to be destroyed. Everything is in sync with what the will of the Lord is, whether it's good or evil. Shalom.